Hi guys, welcome back to Rock Fabulous 40s and it is the beginning of the new year. This is my first product video of the year, so happy Tuesday. Um, this video is going to be about the products that I loved during the year 2017. Now, Thursday I'll post a video of the products that I didn't love of 2017, but today I wanted to talk about the products that I did love. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to jump right in. Um, if you guys I have a feeling that this is going to be kind of a lengthy video. I will try to speed through it the quickest I can. I would like to try to keep my videos a little bit shorter this year, if at all possible, but I love to talk, and I love to hear myself talk, so <laughs> I shouldn't say that, because I really don't. But I'm going to try to keep it quick and simple and um, not get too far off topic like you guys know how I do. Anyway, so we're going to jump right in. Starting with... The first thing that I do to my skin, actually, the first thing that I put on my face before my foundation, which is my primers. So I've got drugstore and luxury options for a lot of these. And I'm going to try to show you guys like one drugstore, one luxury, but in some cases there's two luxury, or there could be two drugstore in some cases here and there because I liked them both and I couldn't make up my mind. But primers, drugstore. Okay, so my first primer is drugstore and or affordable, and it is the Milani Pl Plime Prime Light Face Primer. This guy right here. It says strobing and pore minimizing. Um, I wouldn't say that it's really really luminous, but under foundation, it does tend to make your foundation look really nice and a little radiant, like glowing from within. I wouldn't necessarily say it's really pore minimizing, but it doesn't make my pores stand out either. So it's not like I'm putting some big luminous thing on my face and here are my pores just sticking out everywhere. It makes my skin look very natural under foundation, and I would say maybe the pores look a little bit smaller, but I wouldn't say it diminishes them or it hides completely the look of them. Um, but this is my favorite, as I'm dropping it, affordable primer. Um, and it doesn't break me out. It's really good stuff. I just, I really like this. And Milani you can find at a lot of Walgreens, CVS, Walmart has Milani. So you can find these all over the place. My high end, I'm a little disappointed. And I'll explain. My favorite high end is the Smashbox Photo Finish Hydrating. The blue one. I'm almost out. Why I'm a little disappointed is because they are discontinuing this. I can't get it on Ulta anymore. I think I can still get it on Sephora. I just looked the other day and Sephora still had them, but I have a feeling that when they're gone, they're gone. Um, they're not on the Smashbox website anymore, and I believe what is coming in this place, or what is already in this place, is one that's called the primerizer, which is supposed to be a primer moisturizer combination kind of thing. And I've heard really, really good things about it. I just haven't tried it yet. And that's going to be one of the things that I try this year is that primerizer from Smashbox to see if it holds a candle to this, because this is my all time, end all, be all, gotta have it, love it. I'm so upset that they're discontinuing this primer. But because they are discontinuing this, and I'm like, I need to use it up, it's, there's only like this much left. Because they're discontinuing it, I've had to move on to another primer until I try that other one. So the other one that I've moved on to for this year is the Becca Backlight Priming Filter, this guy right here. I love this guy. He is moisturizing on my skin as well as gives me that nice, like, natural lit from within glow underneath my foundation and I just really 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 <laughs> like this a lot so I'm really happy with this it doesn't make up for the fact that the world is discontinuing this but I'm really loving this this year or this past year in 2017 so um, if I don't like the primerizer I'll stick with this one I'm speaking too much about primers I know foundations my foundations for the year really haven't changed um, as far as drugstore store goes, I'm still using the Infallible Pro Glow from L'Oreal, this guy right here. This is still my favorite affordable foundation. I just love this. It looks so natural on the skin. It never looks cakey. I do have kind of dry combination 
Uh, I have dry patches. I have, I, I used to get kind of oily around here, but it's winter time, so that's kind of settled down now. It'll come back in the summer. But this foundation works for me winter, summer, it doesn't matter. It makes my skin look very natural, never cakey, never heavy. And it just, it, it like melds right into my skin. And I just love this. Never sinks into lines or wrinkles. Great stuff. Now, as far as the high end goes, that hasn't changed either. It is still the Clinique Even Better. Now, this one is the Even Better Glow. I like the Even Better Glow and the Even Better exactly the same. I don't notice, honestly, any difference between the two. And when I looked up the ingredients for both of the original and the Glow, the ingredients are the same. So, I, I don't really notice a difference. Anyway, so I like them both, and they are my all-time end-all favorite foundations, unless I find something new that I like even better in 2018. But so far in 2017, I haven't. So this has been a favorite of mine for the last few years running. All right, so bronzers. I only have one bronzer. I don't have a high-end bronzer, just a drugstore. And it is the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. Look, I've hit pan. You guys, see, I have used this up like crazy. I do have another one in my drawer that once this is used up, I'll break into, but this is my favorite bronzer. Not only does it smell amazing, and it still smells amazing, I just love it, but I use it as bronzer to bronze up my skin, as well as I'll even use it as eyeshadow. I'll take a fluffy eyeshadow brush, dip it in, and just kind of put it all over the lids, and I'll just use that as eyeshadow for the day if I'm just trying to do a real quick, easy look. And what I love about it is it's got kind of a satin finish. It's not really matte. I don't think you guys are going to be able to see it. It's not really matte. You can't see it. It does have kind of a satin finish to it. Um, so it just kind of melds right into my skin, just like the foundation does. And it looks really natural and really nice. And the texture is just wonderful. And I just love this. Like I said, I don't have a luxury or a high-end bronzer. So this is my only bronzer. All right, moving on to um, blushes. Now, as far as affordable goes for blushes, let's get back to the Physician's Formula here. I love this Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer, this guy right here. And this one is in the shade Vintage Rouge. I just stuck my finger in it. it looks like this. These are kind of interesting, too, because they always come with a little mirror and a little like brush thing down here at the bottom. These brushes are they're just useless. I mean, seriously. Anyways, it's got a mirror down here. But the blush is gorgeous. I'm wearing this blush today. And in the pan, it really doesn't look like it's going to show up as much. But on my skin, I mean, seriously. What I love about it is I don't have to be real careful with this. I can load up my brush, plop it on my cheeks, and it just it looks gorgeous. I don't have to be that careful, although I, I am anyway. But you don't have to be. It's just a gorgeous gorgeous, gorgeous blush. And I really want to try some more shades of this luxury or high-end blush. I discovered this one in 2017. It's been around for a long time. I don't know where my head was and why I hadn't tried it before, but I love this. It has quickly become my all-time favorite blush. And this is the Balm's Hot Mama. This guy right there. Is that not just the cutest packaging? The Balm has always got really cute packaging, but it's got a nice mirror here. And then this is the blush. They give you a really nice sized pan and the color is just beautiful. Look at that. You guys see that? It just it gives a nice glow to the skin as well as a nice color to the cheeks. I know it's kind of it's getting a little washed out, isn't it? Right there. So it gives you a nice glow as well as a nice you know, like flushed kind of color to your cheeks like a blush is supposed to do. I just, I love this. It kind of reminds me a little bit of Milani's Luminoso, but just a little bit more pinky corally than the Luminoso. I mean, but this is just, it's gorgeous. If you guys have not swatched this or have not tried it, I, I really recommend this guy. And like I said, I don't know where my head's been when this came out because I didn't even just I didn't even try it till last year and just quickly fell in love with it so great great blush so hot mama from the bomb all right highlights as far as affordable goes this one is really crazy affordable this is from essence this is the pure nude highlighter this guy right here four bucks maybe if that you can pick these guys up at Ulta is where I've seen essence um, what I love about this highlighter is a, it's gorgeous and it feels so nice. It's one of these domed, like, baked highlighters. Baked highlighters. Um, 
but this is what it looks like. Let me swatch this guy here. This, when put on the skin on the tops of your cheekbones or the areas that you want to highlight, you see that? It looks very natural, very glowy. Can you guys see that glow? And that is beautiful. You can make this look really natural up here on the tops of your cheekbones or you can make it look bam in your face kind of glowy. But what I love about it is it does not look like highlights sitting on your face because it just blends in so, so beautifully and never seeps into those little lines where it makes you look like you got powdery stuff in the lines or in the pores. It doesn't do that. It's beautiful. And like I said, maybe four bucks at Ulta. I mean, it's just, I seriously, I know a lot of YouTubers are talking about this particular highlight and for good reason because it's really, really good. My next favorite highlight is the high-end or the luxury one. And this is the Stila Heaven's Hue Highlighter, this guy right here. Sorry, it's a little blinding there. Ugh. Open it up. It's got a big mirror, and then it's got a like little plastic cover here. And they do that as I'm dropping it on my new carpet. And they put the little plastic cover on it because it's got kind of a bouncy like feel to it. I mean it's it's almost feels wet but it's not. Does that make sense? It's, it's kind of like it kind of has a feeling of like maybe those ColourPop eyeshadows if you guys have ever felt those or maybe the um, the bouncy blushes that um, who made those? Maybelline used to make the bouncy blushes. They kind of have that kind of texture. Uh, this one is in the color Kitten by the way but let me swatch this for you guys. So that's it there. That's Look at that. It's so, so smooth and just so beautiful. And again, you can make this look natural or you can build it up and give it just a big bam in your face kind of highlight. But look at that. It just melds right into the skin. It does not look like anything sitting on top. I am actually wearing it today. I don't know if you guys can see it there, but I am actually wearing it today. And I'm really happy with how that came out because to me it just looks like a very natural finish to the skin and I just I love it absolutely love it so this is my all-time favorite highlighter you guys notice I didn't do concealer I don't have a favorite for concealer this year I've been using the benefit of race paste um, it's been my go-to and yeah just nothing new there as far as eyes go I only have a high-end palette I don't have an affordable palette that I just fell in love with I don't have a um, any smaller palettes or singles that I abs absolutely fell in love with. I have one palette that I fell in love with this year and I've used many, many palettes, but one in particular stands out above and beyond the rest that I've used. And that is, there's a lot of people that don't like this one, but I love it. So here it goes. It is the Tardis Pro palette, this guy right here. I love, love, love this guy. Pop him open. Big giant mirror which I've had to use this mirror in a pinch when I was in a, um, a hotel that the lighting was really, really bad. I had to use this mirror just so I could see. Anyways, here's the shades. And I'd like to do this without the... Can I do it like that? Maybe. Maybe. It's, it's, this is really hard to do. Anyway, so here's the shades. And what I love about this is you can mix and match it in any way that you want. But you've got these really nice mattes here. And to the touch, they do feel a little dry when you touch them. But oh my god, do they blend on so smoothly. Look at that. It's beautiful. So they feel a little dry when you first touch them, but they blend out gorgeously and they deposit color gorgeously. So you have all of these mattes, and then you have these guys over here, which are shimmers. And they, I believe they call them like gel shim shimmers or something like that. I mean, it's a dry formula, but it feels a lot different than the matte formula. It feels like it could be almost a wet formula. Look at that. Look. Oh, oh. But not quite a wet formula. I am wearing this palette on my eyes today, along with something else I'm going to show you in a second. But... They also um, configure these in a way where if you want, don't want to mix and match or if you're one who has issues trying to figure out or problems figuring out what colors go with which or what colors go with what, they say you can just go right down the row here. Just go right on down the rows just like this. 
So like all of these colors go well together as well as this shimmery shade. All of these go well with this shimmery shade. All of these go well together as well as that and all of these go well together as well as that. One of my favorite things to do is to put this black all over the lid and then put this green duochrome over the top. This one called Trendy. It is just beautiful. But today I'm using Mod in the crease. This guy right here. This red guy. <laughs> I can't even see it in my monitor here. And then I'm using uh, Drama which is a really dark purple, kind of a almost a violet. I'm using that on my lower lash line and also in my crease and outer V. I'm using this guy here in my crease as kind of a transition shade. I'm using this guy, this cream color called Classic. I'm using this guy as my brow bone highlight and then I am using Glam, this guy right here, on the inner corners of my lids. So just the inner portions. So really, really, really happy with this palette. This one is like number one in my book for 2017. Now let's take it a step further because also on my eyes, something I have discovered in 2017, which I am absolutely loving. I don't even know how many times I can say loving. I have two of them and I love them both. These are the Butter London Glazen Eye Glosses. These guys right here. I love these. I am wearing one of them on my lids. I don't know if you guys can see it there. But these are beautiful. They are very shimmery, very metallic looking. Whoever said if you're over 40 you couldn't wear shimmer on your lids? If you ever hear somebody say you can't wear shimmer on your lids because you're over 40, screw them. You do you. If you like shimmer, if you like glitter, wear it. I might not wear it up into my crease, but on my lids and my inner corners, I just think that glitters and shimmers are beautiful. And you do you. If you like them, wear them. Anyway, so the one that I'm wearing today is in the color Frosted, which is kind of a pinky, golden color, I guess. These are a gel, so you have like a little thing that pops off, a little lid here that pops off. And it's very, you guys, I mean, it's very gel-ish. I don't know how else to explain it. I mean, it's, here, I don't know if you guys are going to be able to, you guys see that? It's very gelish. But check this out. It's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. This is what I have on my lids today. That's with it actually like a full on, that's full on color. Okay. I don't have it on my lids as full on color. I have it kind of sheared out. Let me show you what it looks like when it's sheared out. It's, oh, it's beautiful sheared out. Hold on. You guys will see the difference. Okay, sheared out, you can actually see the little flecks of glitter that are in it. And it's just beautiful. Okay, so that's it, just kind of sheared out. You see how metallic that is? The you're not the little flecks of glitter just aren't picking up on camera, but it is just absolutely beautiful. And one of the things I really like about these is when they set, they're not going anywhere, they're not moving, they're staying. Let me show you the other color I got, which I also love because I love both of these guys. The other color is um, an icing, and it is also kind of a bronzy shade, but it's a little deeper than the last one. And again, just like the last one, it is gel consistency, and it's just a little darker, a little more mauve than the last one. Okay, you guys see that? Look at that. I know, just beautiful. I want to try these as a highlight sometime just to see, you know, how it would look as a highlight. Okay, and then that's it just kind of sheared across. I want to try these as a highlight. They just, they look beautiful. Okay, so I just love these. And I don't have a liquid drugstore equivalent that I like. Um, I have tried like the Wet n Wild Shadow Sticks. I, I'm just not, or not the Shadow Sticks, what do you call them? The Liquid Eyeshadows, Liquid Catsuit Eyeshadows, I think. I've got a whole mess of those, and I am just not impressed with those like these. I mean, these are just beautiful. I use them as shadow toppers. I don't use them as shadows themselves, although you could and they'd be beautiful. I use them to top other shadows, and they're just beautiful, and I love them. Still on eyes. Almost done, guys. I'm, I gotta move quicker, I know. 
All right, eyeliners. I'm very particular about the eyeliners I wear because eyeliners I wear in my waterline tend to smudge on my contact lenses and they blind me. So it makes like a foggy film on my lenses. I did a whole video about it about a year and a half ago. I can link it down below. Anyways, so my favorite pencil eyeliners that I love to wear in my waterline that don't do that nasty filmy thing on my contacts is for high end is the Urban Decay Waterline Pencil. And I use the one in Legend and Walking of Shame, which is a, I'm wearing Walking of Shame today, which is a nude or kind of a cream. You can't really see it right there. Um, and then Legend is just a black. And I wear these on my waterline, no problem. No issues with um, film building up on my contacts. I love these. Now, these are the 24-7 waterline pencils. Now, the 24-7 eyeliners, the normal ones, those seem to do okay on my waterline. But the 24-7 pencil in Perversion, I can't wear it because it just fogs up my contact lenses like nobody's business. I don't know what the deal is with that shade, but I just can't do it. But the waterline pencils are made for the waterline, and they are actually really, really good. And some people have really, really watery eyes. They say it doesn't last very long on them, but for you contact lens wearers, it's really good stuff. And I'll even put it down and sometimes set it with a little bit of eyeshadow. Um, it works great. All right, for affordable, is the Maybelline Master Precise Skinny. This little guy right here. I love this guy. Hold on, let me... Can you guys see how skinny that is? I use it to tight line my upper lash line up there and get right in between each individual lash. I can use it on the waterline. It does not do the whole cloudy contact thing. I just love this. I've got it in the black and I've got it in the charcoal gray as well. And I just... I love these, and this is like my third one because I go through them that quickly. Liquid liners, affordable. Wet n Wild has got a liquid liner. Listen. Okay, so Wet n Wild has got a liquid liner, which is called the Skinny Tip Eyeliner. It's the Mega Slim Skinny Tip Eyeliner, and I just love this guy as well. Look at the tip on that. It's pretty skinny, and here, let's do a fat line and let's do a skinny line. Okay, so it's really black. It dries down matte and it doesn't do that whole, um, you know, when you're a little older and your eyes are a little liney, it doesn't do that whole, you put it on your eyes and it spiders out into those lines. It doesn't do that. It stays put when it dries. It's, it's not budging. It's, it's dry. Now, it does not claim to be waterproof. I don't believe it does. It does not. It does not claim to be waterproof, but I have not had any issues with it smearing, smudging, coming off. It comes off easily with soap and water or my cleanser, but I've never had it come off any other time or smudge or rub or anything like that. So really, really good stuff. Very affordable. What, $3.99 I think for this guy? All right, I have two for my, my high end. And the first one, and be, only because I couldn't choose between the two. I love them both the same. The, um, which by the way, I'm wearing the Wet n Wild one today. The um, Clinique Pretty Easy Liquid Lining Pen. I really like this. Okay, this one, it's got a brush tip. That is not a felt tip. That is a brush. Very similar to the um, Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. Also very similar to that Physician's Formula. CC Booster Liner that everybody loves. It is a brush tip. It is not a felt tip. But it is, again, it is beautiful. Let me... You guys... I don't even think you guys can see. Look at that. Look at that. I mean, is that not just beautiful? It really is. Okay, gorgeous. And again, it doesn't feather off into the lines. It doesn't get into the creases. It doesn't smudge. It sets pretty quick. It's black and it dries matte. I love it. And then the other one, which has been a favorite of mine for a really, really long time, is the Lancome Art Liner. And a lot of people don't like this because of the tip, but that's one of the reasons I love it. The formula is good, but I really love the tip. Now, this is not a felt tip. I know it's hard to tell with the liner all over it, but this is actually a silicone tip. And it's just so smooth. Look at. Do you guys see that? It's beautiful. 
absolutely beautiful. Now what I like to use this one for is this is the one I'll use to go over the top of if and when I wear false eyelashes. I'll put this over the top because it covers the bands or it covers any glue that's left on my bands. Um, I haven't worn fa false eyelashes in a really, really long time and I'll explain that one to you here in just a second. But, <laughs> so those are my two luxury uh, favorites is the Lancome Art Liner and the Clinique Pretty Easy Liquid Liner Pen. Mascara, lips, tools, and we're done. I'm trying to move so fast, guys. I'm so sorry. I know it's taken so long. All right, mascaras. I don't have any drugstore favorites this year, but I do have two luxury favorites or high-end favorites. The first one was a favorite of last year as well. It is the Benefit Roller Lash. It is what I'm wearing today. Love, love, love this stuff. Um, I just don't know how many times I can say love. Um, it's got the curved brush. It's very spiky looking, but it holds a curl like nobody's business. It lengthens and it curls. So if you take the brush and start at the base and wiggle and roll the brush up and pull it through, you will get curl like nobody's business on your lashes. So I feel it does a really, really nice job of lengthening and defining and giving a little thickness as well. So Benefit Roller Lash. And then my other high-end favorite is a new one for me this year, and this is the Smashbox X-Rated. This guy right here. I originally got him as a sample and just immediately fell in love and went out and bought him. Now he is scary looking. Just a second. Okay, he is kind of scary looking. If you notice, it looks very, very spiky, but they're not those plastic bristles. They're the like the regular kind of bristles. I don't know what you call them, um, but they're not the, the plasticky ones. This stuff, it will give you some length, but boy, will this stuff give you some volume. I mean, crazy volume and not clumpy volume. Just your eyes won't become three eyelashes. They won't look like a spider legs. They won't look clumpy, but oh my God, will you get some volume out of this? And it is a very wet formula, so... You have to be careful that you don't touch your nose or touch under your eyes with it because it is very wet, but it is beautiful. And either one of these, once they dry, they don't smudge. I can go without concealer or eyeshadow and I get no smudging underneath or on top. So both of these are great mascaras. Lips. Jumping right along here. And I am running out of room to swatch things. All right. We're going to go glosses, then lips. Gloss is real easy. I've got two glosses. One from the drugstore is NYX. This is the Mega Shine Lip Gloss, this guy right here, and it's in the color beige. You guys aren't going to be able to probably see. There we go. I love it. It is a very natural pink. Why they call it beige, I don't know, but they do because it's not at all beige. It's pink. It is beautiful. It kind of smells like cherries, like cherry candy. It smells really good. So this is my favorite drugstore gloss, affordable gloss. My favorite luxury gloss is from NARS, and this is in Chelsea Girl. I really love this guy. Chelsea Girl, but I love this guy. This is in Chelsea Girls. I love this one. It is beautiful. <laughs> it's just a little bit more corally, I guess. You guys, I'm trying to do a better swatch here. All right, it's just a little bit more corally than the other one, than the next one, but it is absolutely beautiful, and I just absolutely love it. Neither one of these are sticky on the lips. They're not uncomfortable. I hate stick. When I get stick and my hair sticks in it, I hate it. These don't do that. They're, they're just really nice. I have two from the drugstore, or two affordable. <coughs> First one is the Neutrogena Moisture Stick, the Moisture Smooth Color Stick, this guy right here. I have two of them, but this one is my favorite. This one is in the color Wineberry, and this is just a beautiful, beautiful shade of berry. When I'm doing a very, very light makeup -y look, I'll go for this because it's a little bolder than my normal color that I would wear, but I really love it. You guys see that? It's beautiful. The color lasts a pretty decent amount of time, too. It doesn't dry down matte or anything like that. It's a creamy lipstick creamy lipstick pencil. Um, it does have a bit of a shine to it, but it is beautiful and I love them. The other affordable lipsticks or lip products that I love, 
I got an itch, sorry, are these NYX slip teases. These guys right here, these I think just came out in 2017, or at least that's the first time I saw them, so I bought them. I have the shades, these two are my favorite. Um, I can't even see it. Low key, I need my glasses. <laughs> Loki and Bang Bang. These two right here are my favorites. I love them. I know the colors look very, very similar. One's a little lighter, one's a little darker. But these slip teases are lip oils, but they're not your typical lip oils. These are extremely pigmented. Look at this. They go on like a mousse. I mean, seriously, they go on like a mousse. They are extremely pigmented. They dry down, but they don't dry down completely transfer proof. So that way they're still really comfortable on the lips, but they don't slide around either. So they dry down, not transfer proof, but don't slide around and last a really, really long time. I really love these. They are extremely comfortable. I did go out and buy several more of the shades because I did really, really like these. Um, but the shades that I got just ended up not looking so good on me. So these are the, the two that are my favorite. I do have a really deep dark berry. I've got kind of an orangey red. I've got a purple and a fuchsia. Um, those colors don't look great on me, but the formula of these is freaking phenomenally amazing. So I am just really, really in love with these slip teases. If you guys find them or see them on sale, pick one up and try it. I promise I think you guys will really like these. All right, high-end lip is my NARS Audacious Lipstick in Anita. This has been a favorite of mine for quite some time. This is a beautiful kind of a... I don't know, a nudie, mauve color. I just love this. And one of the ways that I like to wear it is I'll wear it plain like this, but I will also layer Chelsea Girl on top of it. It's one of my favorite ways. They're very, very similar in shade, but it just gives that just a little bit of shine, a little bit of gloss to it. So that's one of my favorite ways to, to wear Anita. But that is my favorite all-time lipstick is the NARS Audacious in Anita. Okay, so that's pretty much it for makeup. Let's jump into tools because I can't live without my tools. I just tried this out in 2017. This is the Real Techniques Miracle Diamond Sponge. I love this. If any of you guys have ever tried the Real Techniques Miracle Blending Sponge, the orange one, and you've loved it, this is even softer. When I get this wet, it puffs up about twice its size, and it is so soft, and I can use this edge here, this flat edge, to bounce in foundation. I can use the little tip right here to bounce in concealer. I can use the sides because it's a diamond shape, so it has all these sides here. You guys see that? I can use any of these sides to do highlight, blush, if I contoured, which I don't, but I can do contour. Um, I just love this. This is a all-purpose multi-sponge, and it's dirty because I keep using it and washing it, but I just, I love this. So this is right up there with my beauty blenders. All right, next one is a brush. It's kind of dirty because I just used it today, but this is my IT Cosmetics Heavenly Lux Complexion Brush. It's got the all-over brush here. This is really dirty, and the conceal brush here. And I love this side. I actually love both sides, but this applies foundation just really, really fast, easy, blends it in so nicely. And this, I can dip it into a concealer and just brush it in right here, and it applies it so nicely. It's one of the softest brushes I've ever used for foundation and concealer. I just love this. It is kind of expensive, though. It's like 48 bucks, but it's a great little brush. I just love it can't live without this guy. This is my little spatula. I got him at the dollar store and I use him to dig down into the bottom of my products to get the last little bit of product out that you usually can't get up through a pump or something. Um, so this has come in handy. It's cost me, like I said, a dollar at the dollar store. My drawer has been open that whole time, hasn't it? You guys seen my drawer open that whole time? I'm sorry. Ignore the drawer. Can I scoot over and cover the drawer? It's like too late now. The video is over. All right, last thing is this um, Rapid Lash. I've been using this for about four weeks now. I do really think, think I'm seeing a difference. Like I said, I haven't worn false lashes in 
about two weeks now, and I feel that my lashes are actually really doing well. They're really, I, I feel that they're getting longer. I don't curl my lashes because I don't, I don't want them to break, and I don't want to damage my lashes, so I don't use a lash curler on them. So the combination of like the Rapid Lash with my Benefit Roller Lash or my X-Rated Mascara, I don't have to curl them. And I use this once a night, every night before I go to bed. And I do really feel like it's working. It's like 50 bucks though. It's not cheap. Um, but I like it. And I feel like I'm getting some really good length out of my lashes. I mean, I'm just, I don't know if you guys can even, I don't know. You guys even see, I don't even know if you guys can even see them. But I do really feel like I'm getting some really nice length here. Look, I have one little lash off by itself. Look at that. <laughs> But I am loving this stuff, so I will continue to repurchase this as well. All right, guys, so those are my favorites for 2017. I know it was a really long video, and I do apologize. I'm going to try to cut some of this down, but I had so much that I really liked this year, or the past year, 2017. Um, I hope you guys found this video enjoyable. If you did, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. You guys can look me up on Facebook, Pinterest, Twitter, Instagram, Tumblr, all under Rock Fabulous 40s. And guys, remember to hit subscribe down there. There's a subscribe button down there somewhere. Also, if you want to get notified of videos that I have posted, go ahead and hit the bell down there as well. And you too can rock your fabulous 40s. And I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.